Watch out. Watch out. This is what the matrix reduces animals to and makes real humans complicit in it to some extent, um, which is the anti-life policy of this anti-life matrix world we live in. This is how it even treats its own. And real humans actually think that they live in a natural, normal world. But that is only real humans. And they are living in the land of delusion because they don't know that most of what is around them is not human. And that they are um, rare in the actual reality. Now, most is you know, putting it in a fairy tale, um, glamorized light. Most is um, possession, if you want to look at it that way. But that is not the whole story either. That's not the whole fairy tale. But it is certainly, and, and I admit that I am still a little in the dark. But um, I probably won't be allowed to put this video out because it has the famous Sim Simba dog. In it, I say famous because even though his owner doesn't realise, he is actually quite famous because the Matrix has um, singled him out right from the beginning and he is used by the Matrix to cause distress on, oh dear, on his owner and me and but um, is a delight for those of the Matrix. I'm not going to go into details about this because otherwise the video becomes unacceptable. Um, that's my little, little backyard there. Um, unfortunately, it's not very good as you can see, but it's basically the dog's um, area where I let him out to do his business. Um, you know, his owner does walk him every day for a little bit now. We used to walk him like for a mile or so down, down the main street to the little park but he's incapable of going that distance now because the Matrix has decided that although he is um, one of theirs, shall we say, that for real humans to be seen walking the, the dear old dog is still not acceptable because, see, this is how I figure it out. See, um, even though the dog is you know, causes um, quite a lot of um, anxiety, shall we say, for me, in my reality. But I was, we were still walking him down the road every day, just on the main street, so people could see it. So although they want the dog to be here because he is a work workable negative for the Matrix against uh, a real person, shall we say, which is me, and... Even, um, you know, its owner in a way, even though the owner doesn't um, accept a matrix, shall we say, because there are real people that don't accept an artificial matrix-controlled reality, which is, um, you know, <clears throat> Simba. 
Simba. I'm just trying to bring him in now because it's getting a bit cold out there, as you can see. It's just fell on dark. And um, Simba, of course, he won't take any notice of me at all. Not at all. In fact, um, if I think, this is just, look, I'm just going to point this out. See, he is now trying, the Matrix is trying to make him fall into his own excrement or feces, if you like, to be technically correct. And we must be technically correct in a technological matrix, surely. And he has actually done that. Because the matrix knows that that is going to really upset me. So he's out there and there's all that space. But the matrix will make sure that the dog falls into his own feces or treads into it, as he did also just half an hour ago all through this place, by the way, with my shoes and everything. Is this coincidental? Is this accidental? That's the question people have to ask themselves if you're a real person. The Matrix ones don't have to ask it because they like it, they know it. They know and they don't care. They want this because they're about suppressing me and humans, okay? But he has actually did that because the Matrix knew that, that I'm actually thinking that while I'm filming here. I'm trying to bring him in because it's cold, but also I don't want him to tread in his own stuff until I can clean it up or get someone else to clean it up. Um, his owner will come a bit later and take him outside, but he has already done his business and trod in it three times before he comes. You know, his owner is my son, Patrick. Patrick, Patrick Gilligan is my son. I'm um, Patricia Gilligan. We have. He's trying to grow a few little um, plants over there, and so everyone on the street now grows plants and tries to grow little fruit trees and things because my son Patrick has just a few there. Because the Matrix has to outdo every human. The Matrix has to pretend that it is the real human, that it is doing all the right things. That is the joke of it. A real human at this end time scenario only has to do simple little human things and it really um, upsets the Matrix. That's how I see it because... When you see yourself do stupid little things, or not stupid things, but just human things that are positive, but they're only small things, the Matrix will have everyone on the street doing the same thing. So that way the human, the real human, is lost in amongst the Matrix disciples, the Matrix followers, or the Matrix believers, or the Matrix whatever they are. I don't know what they are. I see what they are by their actions, but I don't know um, what their true position or their true or what the hierarchy is. Is that the word in the matrix? Because no doubt, because you know we live in a world where everything is about st status and about um, you know your different position in society, shall we say? So the matrix has a hierarchy, but of course everyone on this street thinks that they're like the king and queen of Leichhardt because that's the mindset the Matrix likes to give individuals so they're out of touch, so they actually think that they have some input and it wants real humans to feel that they have nothing and suppress them because it is really only the real human that um, can really affect the actual reality but certainly the um, players of the matrix can affect the humans to such an extent that they are suppressed and negative. I don't know if I'm making any sense here because I don't really know what I'm saying because I'm nervous and and I'm waiting for the street to come alive, shall we say, but it's playing possum and keeping a low profile and it will just play possum for a while and that while will be while I have this mobile phone up at the front door. That is the truth. The minute I put it down, there will be a car, 
cars pulling. The, the, in fact, this is the first time when I've opened up the door in about two or three years that I don't open up this door and there isn't a car pulling in right in front of me, especially across the other side of the road in those houses there. They are of the matrix 100%. Whether they're conscious of it or not, I cannot be sure, but they are players of the matrix. They come in and they're, they're playing possum. That light is moving strange on that car. I don't know whether you can see it through the thing. No, it stopped moving now that I noticed it and tried to get it into... Oh, yeah, is it moving or not? Why are these lights on the cars have a life of their own. That car is parked and yet that car, that light has gone off. See how it's gone off? Now see how it's coming on? Or a, you, a, 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 a cognitive dissidence human of the matrix that is that even if you're a human and you ha are under cognitive dissidence, as I think probably a lot probably would be, but I don't know this even, um, would see that as some sort of reflection. They would look for a rational reason. There is no rational reasons in a matrix. It is all matrix. That's what I say. But but if you see how it's going on and off, I'm not getting it in, am I? Because the the thing is blocking it. it. It's a small thing, because this street has now gone strangely all quiet on the western front, and dead, because I've got this camera up to the door. Wait on. Now we are oh, wait on. We have got the truck going down now. They probably don't want to be quiet for too long, but they'd say, hey, surely we're allowed one truck on a street. Um, that truck does not live on this street. That's all I can say. And this was pointed out to me, but I've been aware of it for three years. I used to think that, yes, it was, of course, all the cars that live in all the houses because everyone is in on it. Everyone is part of the matrix in Henry Street, Leichhardt. See how he bibbed his horn at me? Did you hear that? Did that come out on the video? In acknowledgement and confidence, too, because um, they're like, hey, we run, this, we run this show. You are nothing in it, you know. Um... Now he will go into that house. All these cars pull up that actually don't even, a lot of them don't even live here, but they'll pull up and people will still walk into the house. Now that becomes a bit unexplainable. Of course you'd say, well, you might not be aware of who really lives in there or who's visiting. Yes, we have all the rationale going. But no, when it happens day in and day out, like I say, you'd have to live it and see it on a daily basis all the time to accept the reality of a matrix. I'm going to fold up now because they're not going to play too much for me. I'm not sure if I took, if I actually could take this mobile like down the street. Yeah, there's a a lot of loud matrix traffic now. That's another thing. The traffic used to just be at a normal level. You didn't get motorbikes revving their engine. You didn't get buses um, always squeaking their brakes and all these um, uh, mechanical fin uh, anomalies that they all do now. Um, Oh, we do have a Matrix car pulling in after all. And he will back in to show me his bright lights. That is another thing that I have noticed, and I probably make myself look stupid. But, um, but what I was going to say was that... Um, See, this is something that um, I'm going in now because I'm actually getting a bit frightened, strangely enough. I know I don't, I'm not really frightened, but I kind of am, you know what I mean? Now, I'll leave that door. It's just that it's so cold. If this was summertime, I could probably leave the door open and wait to film it. Now... 
Oh, I'll have to fold up because I've got to go and get the dog out of here because he's just going to stay sitting out there in the cold in his own feces. Now, how I'm going to get him clean, I do not know. This is the Matrix trying to drive me into an angry state. And yes, it's successful. When I, put, when I turn this mobile off, I will be really angry at it. Simba, come on, come on in. It's too cold out there. Come on. Simba, come on. I'll have to go and get him because he's not going to come if I call him because the Matrix has full control over him. He will stay out there distressing me, etc. I'll fold up. Sorry. <laughs>